As we talk with churches and workers around the world, we keep bumping against a few obstacles that are impeding our progress among unengaged peoples. One is limited bandwidth. We're already so busy with what we're already doing, we find it hard to look beyond. There are people to care for. There's the gospel to be proclaimed where we already are. There are people to serve. There are nationals with whom we want to develop relationship. We want to do better where we already are. And so the privilege of looking beyond to where we are not yet has been a bridge too far for many. A second obstacle is that for whatever reason, this unengaged language has yet to capture the imagination of the Lord's people. Unreached, we kind of get, but unengaged, unreached, has been a little bit too complicated for many of us to understand. We understand the newsletters we're getting back from people already engaging unreached peoples. We, we want to come alongside these. There are so many wonderful ministry opportunities that we could be giving ourselves to. Looking beyond to the foundationless peoples is hard. There's a third reason for our inability to this point to engage these remaining several hundreds of unengaged peoples, and that is that we are being opposed. If you were the devil, Wherever the gospel is, wherever there are churches, wherever there are workers, you're opposing, you're bringing discouragement, you're trying to slow it down, you're trying to impede fruitfulness. But if he were smart, and he is, powerful and wise, he levels his biggest artillery against any effort toward the unengaged. If he can stop a work before it begins, and thereby make it impossible for the work to be fruitful, he scores a huge win. We believe that these obstacles are nothing before the power of the Lord. Let's believe him. Let's trust his love for these unserved. The Lord is saying, I will give you this land. I am with you. I am for you. I will go before you. Everywhere your foot treads, I have given to you. Let's oppose the enemy. Let's overcome the obstacles. Let's embrace an apostolic burden for the unengaged. And let's move towards them so that they also can encounter him.